Hey, 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 my name is Naveen and I am an international student ambassador at the University of York. As an ambassador, I have been asked multiple times about the various job opportunities that we have on campus. So I decided to make a video on this. The University of York, right, it provides you with a lot of uh, job opportunities. Uh, and they can be various types from casual work experiences to more scheduled student jobs to department based paid student roles. And you can also work for, you know, the student unions and stuff like that. And the best thing about all of this is that the university has a very streamlined way to apply for all of these opportunities. It's through the York Handshake website, okay, where almost every university position will be advertised. Furthermore, the university shall send you email newsletters with information about part-time jobs within the university for you to apply to your department also sends you weekly newsletters with information about part-time work and uh, job opportunities and also be sure to read your college and student union newsletters so yeah there's a wide variety of roles you can take on some of them can be working as a student ambassador like me or you can be a paid student course representative or you can work on our many campus food and drink uh, drink establishments now that you made your mind okay you're like okay i found this position i want to apply here are some things you should try to have before you do that number one make sure you have a uk based bank account if you want to get paid you're going to need a uk based bank account secondly if you're an international student, make sure that you get your right to work check done. And this is really simple. You just have to go to the government website. The link is in the description and you'll just have to enter a few identity details in there and you'll be given some information, uh, a code, I believe, which you have to show to your employer. The process is really, really fast and it won't take long. It's a simple thing. It'll, it'll be done in a few minutes. And lastly, number three is to apply for your national insurance number. Now, again, the process for applying for this is very simple. Um, you just have to send over a few pictures about your residence permit, passport, and visa and stuff like that. And again, everything's on the website and the link's in the description. It'll take about a few weeks for this to arrive. When I applied for my ambassador uh, team position, I had none of this in place. I didn't have a bank account. I didn't have a national insurance number or anything like that. But the university, after I was able to secure the role of a student ambassador, they supported me at each step. They they, they told me what, what, what I needed to do and they gave me a nice little roadmap. So yeah, the university is very helpful with stuff like this. So you don't have to worry if you've not got any of these in place and you still want to work for the university. In my experience, I was able to finish um, I was able to finish this during my training period. So if you want to work as a student ambassador, there's a there's a few weeks of which I spent in training. And during that time, I was able to uh, I was able to, to get everything sorted. That's all I have to say about working for the university and what, what, what requirements you need. If you guys have any questions, please, uh, please ask in the comments. Thank you guys so much for listening. And I hope you have a lovely day.